Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and we are going to land at the space station. Let's interact with this thing. Oh, we need to get in there, so let's do it. Need to go down. Need to get in the space station. Whoop. And this is Deliver Us the Moon, by the way. Whoa. Go up. All right, perfect. Let's see if we can get a bullseye. Let's see if we can get a bullseye. We're coming up here to restore power to the Earth. That's why it's called Deliver Us the Moon, by the way. Oh, down, 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 down. Perfect. But not perfect, but pretty close. Close enough. There we go. So yeah, we got to see what's going on with the lunar uh, colony. I don't know if you guys watched the first episode. If you didn't, you should just you should check it out because launching this uh, space shuttle is pretty intense. Got it. Good luck up there. Alright, so yeah, we're in low gravity because we're not on the mood. Five years after the blackout. Pearson Space Station. Yeah, nothing here. Okay, turn on our light. Nothing. Alright, so it looks like we're going over here. Airlock. Okay, so we're going to be out of air when we go through here. So let's do it. Oxygen depleting. Okay, great. Objective. Bring life support systems back online. Got it. Now, I did play this before on the stream, so I know this is the core. Uh, basically a big battery. Whoop. And we have to plug this in, so let's do that real fast before I run out of air and die. So right there, boom. Yes, and look at there's oxygen right there for me. Cha, yeah, got it. All right. So now we need to find some more. Oh, if we see, if we look at this. We our central hub is offline because we need two batteries, one on that side and one on that side to power it up. So let's check this out. We got a battery over here. Doop doop doop. What's in here? Oh, we can't open anything when my hands are full? Come on. I have two hands. Can you use my left hand to hold this canister and the right hand to hold something? Oh, come on. Well, number one, we're going to have to put it in here because this will keep the door open. The door is powered from this side. That way we can take the second battery from here. So we're good to go, right? Yes. Let's pop this bad boy in there. Let's actually check out what's in this locker over here. Because I don't want to miss any collectibles or anything like that. What's in here? Oh, oxygen. Can't open that door. That's fine. This looks like a cargo area. There's a whole bunch of bags all over the place. I wonder if they do that on purpose. Like, if the, Is that real life? Do they actually do that in real life? I don't know. Let's check all the way down over here before we, you know, proceed. Holy cow, look at all this air. What is this? Internal mail. To Carpernius? Carp Copernius? Moon hub? Okay. So, can't do that. Can I open this door? I cannot. Okay, so we need to power up the rest of this. That way we can get life support online, I'm hoping, anyway. We will find out in a second. Oop, not that one. Erp, down. Pick up that battery that locks the door because there's no power to it now. 
Let's plug this one in over here on this side. Done! Nope, gotta actually reboot it for real. Activating life support, restoring life support, yeah! Perfect. So now we have air. Now what are we doing? Ass assess power or station power inside the control center in the Libra wing. And this is the control center, correct? Yeah, that was... Yep, crew quarters and control center down here. So let's go down here. Yep, control or central hub, sorry. Oh, there's some audio right here. Let's check this out. Control, we're all set. Ready for descent. The MPD network is still down, so expect the lights to go out as you descend towards Copernicus. Thanks for the heads up, Pearson. Remember, Sarah, our oxygen here in the station is limited. After arriving, you'll have 40 minutes to find out what caused the blackout and bring our MPD network back online. If you're not back by then, we'll have to evacuate without you. We hear you, Control. Rolf, you ready? I am. And don't worry, Control. It's probably just a glitch. We'll be back before you know it. Let's find out how they've been holding up down there. Alex, commence descent protocol. All systems go. Descent in three, two, one. Descending gate. Godspeed. Godspeed. All right. So I don't want to go over there yet. I have to explore a little bit, see what's here. Do anything else? No. Netting. Okay, so I can't really go anywhere. So I came from there. Let's go in here. Space elevator is offline. What is going on in here? There's a lot of chairs going on. How many people are on the lunar colony, I wonder? Uh oh. I might be lost. I think this is the door I came in, right? Yep, that's the door I came in. So now let's do this slowly. Has to be a way out, right? Oh, yep, right there. Scan that. Oh. Pearson Space Elevator improved the logistics of getting people and supplies to and from the moon. When the 2054 blackout occurred, station crew members Sarah Baker and Rolf Robertson were sent down the elevator to investigate the blackout on the moon's surface. Due to the station's emergency protocol, their time was extremely limited. Can I get out over here, maybe? Yep. Alright, so we can get through here. Let's check out what's going on. Why was their time severely limited? I mean, there's no time limit as far as I know for my power. Or for my life support, I should say. Can I get out over here? Nope, just the uh, metal thing. So there's nothing over here. Looks like that was a metal plating back there. This is a window. Can I turn this on? What is this? Oh, it's actually like a, you can close the window. That way you don't have to look outside. I like having it open though. Because you can look outside and see how beautiful space is. Alright, so let's keep going. I have a feeling I'm going to have to shut some of those pretty soon here, though. Because they're going to be like some kind of a, an emergency and we're going to get hit by meteors or something. I don't know. Oh, let's keep going. Oh. Let me bang my head on this uh, ladder. Wonder what is going on. What do you guys think stopped the power? Was it aliens? Or was it some kind of weird malfunction? I bet you it was aliens. They found alien life and it shut down everything. That is a really nasty looking Coke bottle. Cola bottle, excuse me. Cola bottle. So let's go through. Can I squeeze through this? I can. Oh, there's some more. Sarah Baker. 
For audio, maybe? There you go, buddy. Almost there. We'll touch up your paint up later, don't worry. Are you ready to go? We've almost got the elevator running again. Yeah, just patching up Alex before we head down. Are you bringing that thing along? Of course. We'll need all the help we can get. And besides, you wouldn't have made it to that airlock if it hadn't been for him. <sighs> this MPT blackout can't be just a glitch, Rolf. Everything is still dark down there. Last time there was an outage. <sighs> did you hear the message from Earth? No. What did they say? They can't even send ships up here anymore without the MPT. It's crazy, right? We're the only ones able to investigate the blackout. Rolf, Sarah, we need to get you guys down to the surface ASAP. We don't have much time. <sighs> okay, let's go. Yeah, what happened last time? Uh, she makes it sound really bad, like something happened last time. Ooh, what is this? Electrical shock risk. Use behavior update 2.0. Okay. I don't know what that is, but I will take that under advisement. Council member Laverde. Laverde? The MPT is still offline. What's going on? Backup power is finally running up here at the station and we're repairing the Pearson elevator to take us down to Copernicus Moon Hub to provide any assistance you might need to bring the MPT back online. We're coming. Please be safe. So, okay. So there's a lot of people up here. What is this? Like a welding mask or something? Oh, what about Rolf? Up oh, hits unlocked. Moon Man, first contact. The astronaut docks into a rundown space station on his way to the moon. In it, he discovers do discovers dues of an old friend. Convinced they may still be alive on the moon, he doubles his efforts to reactivate the space elevator in a race against time. It feels like those magazines are following what I'm doing. Nothing, nothing. Don't need your toothpaste or anything like that. What is this? Scannable nearby. Look at that. That's the Earth. Whew. Up scanner over there. After cryo sleep generator in the Huygen, Huygen research facility malfunctioned in 2048, Maria searched for answers letter to investigate what remained of the machine. Unable to determine the exact cause of the malfunction, she sent this fragment to Pearson Space Station mechanic Rolf Robertson for assessment. He was trying to figure it out. Let's see what this says. Reminder, they have changed the code again. New code is 2539. Alright, so there's a code for something. 2539. Is it going to be this one? Oh, yeah, of course. It's where the door's right here. Cool. Maintenance saves lives. So it was what, 2539? I get distracted, so I don't know. There we go, boom. I did remember it, yes. Perfect. Oh, let's explore some of this. We'll always look at uh, these clipboards. Nope, that's not important, I guess. Won't let me touch it, all right. Council member MacArthur. In the past few months, my team and I have encountered problems with construction material shipments. We were supposed to be finished with the or Orion wing by now, but again, we've missed our milestone due to shipments being repeatedly canceled. When, when can we expect the Lunar Council to approve further shipments? Engineer Baker. The Lunar Council has decided to shift source resource priorities around because of the new construction on the moon. For the time being, I recommend you do with you make do with what you have. We are we all do down here. Council member MacArthur, new construction. This is this Huygens facility finally being repaired. It's about time that place opened up again. There's too much knowledge buried there since the cryo sleep malfunction. Engineer Baker, suffice it to say that while construction project is classified, it does not concern Huygens. Access to the Huygens research facility remains restricted until further notice. Oh, so it might actually really be aliens, you guys. Oh. They're hiding that facility. There's something going on with that facility. Can I do this? Alright, let's try this. 
Diagnosing. Pearson Space Station MPT transmitter and receiver online. Connection to MPT network not established. Contact the moon base, yeah. Contacting moon hub, oh sorry. No connection with moon hub. Space elevator to moon hub offline. Additional energy required. Oh, we're not making enough electricity. Rotate station for additional power. Station rotation engine offline. Okay, so I have to spin the uh, thing, okay. For humanity, for the future. So I have to start uh, spinning the the space station. Got it. Let's see. Anything else in here? Any other notes I can find? Space Tech Magazine 2054. In this edition, we interview WSA Lunar Council member Dr. Rosa Laverde about the cause of the 2048 Huygens cryosleep malfunction and how we can avoid this type of catastrophe in the future. That seems like a very important issue. Dun dun dun! Evacuation procedure. In case of emergency, please pay attention to the following guidelines. All right, we will not because I don't need to evacuate yet. Oh, I better turn this off for a second. Let that thing recharge. Can I use this? Nope. That paper is gone. Or not useful, I should say. Oh, we have space suits over here. So if somebody left without their suit, that's not good. So I got to turn the... I got to start spinning the space station to make more power. Nothing over here. Oh, two, uh, three and four. They used their spacesuits, but one and two did not. Orion, under construction. Oh, uh-oh. Can I use this, maybe? Yep, let's use this. Oh, no. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, got to cut the locks. That was easy enough. Got it. Locks were cut. Oh, God. Can I open this now? Oh, wait. Now I can hit the button. Oh, yep. The button lit up. There's going to be no air. Yep. And no air in here. Collect. What is that? What is that? Oh, I have a mobile laser now on my hand. Heck yeah. That doesn't seem dangerous at all. Oh, I'm going to have to cut all of this stuff. Great. That thing was strapped to... A machine, and I'm just like put it on my arm. That doesn't seem like a smart move. Oh, yeah, this definitely doesn't seem like a good idea. Cut. Ah, uh, emergency. Okay. Just one canister? I'll take it, though. I need it. Oh, I can't go through there? Am I not small enough to fit through? What the? I should be able to fit through there. Okay. Do I have to cut something? I fit through that one, but I can't fit through this? Huh. Why can I not fit through that? Oh, there we go. Here 
Okay, scoot on through here. Got it. Chill out, guys. I mean, I've only been up here for a few minutes. I get you guys want me to fix stuff, but dang. Give me a minute. Well, let's go over here. Cut through this airlock. Alex. That doesn't seem good. That looks like a part of a, uh, a space suit. That doesn't seem good. Hit this. Okay. Oh, there's some audio right here. Assembly in section 3C now. Copy that. Do you think we'll finish construction anytime soon? How about the council claiming more supplies each week? I doubt it. I'm surprised we got this past MacArthur in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, I'm getting strange readings here from the lunar surface. Are you seeing anything? Just wrapping up. What the hell? All the lights are shutting down. Are you alright, Wolf? What just happened? I can't see a thing. Everything is dark out here. We lost power from the MPT. The whole station is down. Can you find your way back to the airlock? Negative. I don't have a visual. Right. I'm sending Alex to block the airlock doors. Do you see him? I see his flashlight. Heading back to the airlock. What's going on? Everything on the surface is dark. Wolf, not now. What's your ETA? Ten seconds. Make it faster. Once the airlock seals, you'll be locked out. Alex is blocking the door for you, but he can't hold it much longer. Oh, God. Did Rolf get stuck outside? What about this stuff over here? Order request form. Order denied. I wonder why they were refusing. Did they realize that the, the moon sucks? Maybe they did. Oh, that doesn't look good. There's a helmet. Oh, okay. At least there's a suit there, too. So this is just because of the uh, low gravity. Got it. Oh, all kind of crap all over the place. That doesn't look good, either. It's leaking. What is this? Okay, done, done, done. Nothing back there. Okay, I think we're gonna need to go underneath, right? Yep, underneath here. Look at all these like is it cigarettes. What is this? Like metal bars, maybe? Iron? What is this? Though operational, the Pearson Space Station was never completed. Sarah and Rolf oversaw construction of the final wing until Lunar Council member MacArthur suspended shipments of material, such as this panel, diverting all resources to a classified project on the moon. So what was going on? Aliens on the moon, I swear. There has to be aliens on the moon, you guys. Has to be. Let's check in here. Cut in an emergency. Yeah, because I don't think I can go through there. Well, looks like we're cutting. Got it. And there's air in here? I thought this would be like outside or something. We got a lot of armor pieces around here. Oh, that's a welder's mask. Okay. Oh, great. This doesn't look like it's going to kill me at all. Slowly. Holy cow.
Oh. I just cut the power. Yeah, great. That doesn't seem like a good idea. I just cut the power. What's going on there? Maintenance. Let's go through this the maintenance tunnels. What is all that? What is that? Is that water? That's so weird. Let's see this. Nothing. Hmm. Alright, I guess I'm going through maintenance. It looks like there's water everywhere. It'd be cool if it would hit you in the helmet. That'd be awesome. Like, you could smear it. Oh, great. This looks like a great puzzle. Provide power to the station, rotating the engines. I don't even know how this works. I'm going to kill my life support, I think. <laughs> I think that's what this is going to do. Alright, so let's try this. Can I turn this? Oh, wait. Rotation engines. Holy cow, I'm going to need a lot more power. Can I move this? I can! Okay, so I'm just going to be pulling the batteries out? Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, let's cut them. Okay, maybe. Alright, this doesn't seem like a good idea. Why would you be cutting things? I don't even know what this is. It seems like a bad idea. So do I pull this out? Oh, I can't remove it. Once it's in there, it's in there. Yep, I can't move any of that. Okay. So, move it back. Nope. Oh, I have to go through there. Okay, I have to cut the wire so I can get to the power thing. Got it. This does not seem like a smart idea. It seems like I'm going to die doing this. Oh, got to go up and through here. Yeah, give me that battery. Got you. Oh, I am killing the life support. Oh, God. So I'm sacrificing my life support right now for the rotation engine. This does not seem like a good idea. Oh, God. Um. Can I make that? We're about to find out. Woo-wee. I had a lot of electricity going on there. Great, now all I gotta do is turn around and go back. Oh, thank God. Whew. Yeah, this is... This is... Oh, my God. Let's do it. Last battery. Oh, great. Really? It's both? I gotta cut them, and there's a regular electricity killing everything. Oh, great. Just 
Don't get murdered by electricity. Got it. Life support, energy supply, critical. Up, up and over. Yes. We're about to plug in the engine, so we should be okay, right? Awesome. Life support feeling. Great. Go up here. Life support shutting down. Oxygen reserves low. Oh. Oh god. I I wasn't paying attention to my uh my battery. Oh, I gotta go back up, right? Okay. Whoop. What the? I can't get back in? Oh, crap. Wait a minute. Is that where I came from? Let's go find out. I'm pretty sure I came from here, right? Oh, God. Great. Do 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 control sleeping quarters. Sarah, B okay. Let's go back here. Okay, yeah. Woof. Thank God. Okay, let's go do it. Activating rotation engine. Space elevator online, yes! Whoa! That's not good! Oh god, I didn't realize I was Sandra Bullock. Oh crap. Hold on to that. Great. Are you kidding me? I hope I am. Holy crap. What happened there? Why did it explode? I, I hope that's not a normal occurrence. Holy crap, let's get this air. Go, 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 go. Oh, I saw the yellow, that's why I went there. Okay. Whew. That didn't work out for me. Oh, crap. Go, 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 go. 30 seconds. Oh my god. Okay, whew, there's a lot of air over here. Okay. Oh no! Oh god! That was a tease! I can't believe they did that. <laughs> I thought I was, I was good to go. Oh god. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I don't see any yellow canisters. Oh, God. Over here? Has to be some air in there. I only got 20 seconds left. I don't think I'm going to make it. I need a little bit more air. Oh, this is my shuttle! That's not good. Go, 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 go. Got 20 seconds. Get in there. Get in there. I, my shuttle exploded. So how am I supposed to get back home now? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
Got that. Woo. Hit that button. Oh, we're gonna use the elevator? Oh god, we're gonna use the elevator. Ho! Oh. Holy cow.